Hi there, everyone. It's Melissa from DJ Event Planner. Today, we're going to talk about e-signatures. To get started, you're going to need two things. First, a document, and second, an email. First, you'll need to log into your DJ Event Planner account. Then we can begin. Let's tackle the document first. To get started, you will need to go to Setup, Documents. If you've already created a document, you will need to click here to select that document. If not, click on the green Add Template button here at the top to create a new document. For now, I'll show you our contract demo. You will see here we have a pre-prepared document ready to be turned into an e-signature form. You can place the e-signatures wherever you would like on the form. For this one, we have placed them at the bottom of the document. So here at the bottom, we have, I have read the contract and the terms and conditions and will adhere to it in detail. You can obviously put whatever you would like. The main things are these tags. You'll see we have a few tags in place. First, the signed client tags. Second, the email address. Third, the date, signature, and time. Fourth, the telephone. And finally, the IP address. To add these tags, place your cursor where you would like to insert the tag, then look for the blue button titled eSignature Tags found below the document editor. Then click on it. In doing so, the eSignature Merge Tags drop-down will appear. You can then select the merge tag you would like to add to your document. The merge tag code will appear to the right with an insert button, so go ahead and click insert. This then adds the merge tag code to your document where you had your cursor. You will want to repeat this process for all of the merge tags you require. We also recommend you have the customer's first name, last name, email address, date, time, and IP address. These will mean that you have enough information to ensure the contract is legally binding. Once you've added the tags to your document, make sure you save your document. You'll find the green Save button up here on the top. Now, we'll go back into our document. If you click on the eSignature tab here, you will see various settings pertaining to this document. You will want to generate these specific to your business needs. To assist with automating a few actions for you once the document has been signed, you can designate which should take place here. For example, you can update the event status to Booked and set this current date to Date Booked. We have now covered adding the eSignature merge tags to your document. Be sure to save your document. Our next step is to create the email template that you will be sending to the customer, providing them with a link to where they can sign the document you have just created. To do that, we'll go to Setup, Email. When creating an email template, you can do so for events, employees, meeting reminders, and meeting confirmations. For our purposes, you'll want to make sure you are creating an event-based email template. If you already have an email template set up, you can utilize one of those. If not, you will want to create a new one by clicking on the green Add Template button at the top, select Event Based, then which format you would like to create, either in plain text or HTML. Here's an email that I prepared earlier. At the top, we have the company logo. We then have the package name using merge tags, We've also just confirmed a few other details in the email, such as venue name and address, music requests, number of guests, and additional notes. On the bottom of this email, we also provided them with details for the online wedding planner. Of course, whatever you put in the email is up to you. The important part is here at the bottom of our email where we put the digital signature. We've also asked them, can you please sign the document using the link below and send us your booking fee. To add a link, all you have to do is place your cursor where you would like the merge tag to be placed. Then look for the blue button, eSignature Document Links, below the email editor. Simply click the button, then select which document you wish to use from the drop-down that appears in this case. We're using the demo contract. The merge tag will appear to the right, 
and simply click Insert. The code will then appear in your template where your cursor was. Then save the email. And that's it. You're ready to go. Now, if you wish to send the document for signing, go to an event, click the Email tab. Under Send Email, select your email from the drop-down menu, and the Compose Email page will appear with your chosen template. Here, you'll see the merge tag entered has now been filled with a URL. In the email, the customer will be able to click this URL to preview and sign the document. Your customer will see all the details that you've pre-done on the document template. At the bottom, they'll see this is the blank. What they'll need to do is type in their details and tick to agree to the terms contained in the document above. They click on Submit, and that's it. The document is signed. Now, if we go back to your event planner and visit the event again, under the Documents tab, you'll now see you have an e-signed document under Saved Documents. To view it, simply click on the blue View button and you'll be able to see the details of who signed the document. And you'll also see at the bottom of the document, the information has now been filled in for you. And that's it. That is Digital Signatures. Nice and easy.